While there's something to be said for quality over quantity, today's video tests the quality of the Z1 against the quantity of your dollars. Before we jump into the video, I want to give you a heads up. It is proudly sponsored by my pals over at Jensen USA. Jensen's a leading online retailer, and they've got a great stock of everything you need to stay on the trails, including this fork here. I've got a link below over to the Z1 at the Jensen site. Anything you purchase from that link will help support my channel. Also, I want to give you a heads up. I did not buy this fork. Fox was kind enough to give me the fork for this video, so thank you, Fox. I appreciate that. I am also supported by my friends at PNW Components, Industry 9, Shimano, Cali Protectives, and Kitspo Cycling Apparel. All right, let's get into the video. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everyone. It's a joy and a pleasure to be here. It's been a while since I made a tech video like this, so thanks for coming back. In the past month or so, I've been riding that new Rocky Mountain a ton, including a big trip up to Alaska, which should come out on the channel here in the near future. Stay tuned for that. I've also been doing a ton of ride videos, which thank goodness you guys seem to like, because I really like making the ride videos. They're super fun, and they're a great excuse to go work, go ride someplace really fun and cool. Let's talk about forks. You see yourself in the camera, huh? <laughs> Today's video is gonna test the $700 Marzocchi Z1 and pit it against the $1,100 Fox 36 Grip 2. Both excellent forks. As many of you have noticed, I've been running this Marzocchi Z1 fork on my HD5 since early spring. I've got quite a few rides on it, but I haven't yet done a ride report video, so let's dive into this. Fox Suspension is one of the most well-known suspension brands, honestly, in the world. At this point, Fox makes products for everything from motorcycles to side-by-sides to OEM truck components. Fox was founded in 1974 by Bob Fox, and their first product were rear air shocks for the dirt bikes of the time. Marzocchi is also from the moto world, but rather than the yoga classes and tie-dye of Santa Cruz, Marzocchi hails from the pizzerias and discotheques of the Italian world. Launched in 1949, Marzocchi became a very successful company with brothers Stefano and Guglielmo at the helm. Just so we're all on the same page here, Fox bought Marzocchi a few years ago, and now Marzocchi is the budget Fox line. Yes, it's a Marzocchi fork, Marzocchi is owned by Fox, and it uses a Fox grip damper. It's got a lot in common with the Grip 2 damper, just it doesn't have separate high and low speed adjustment capabilities. It's just straight up low speed and that's okay with me. So the Z1 I've been riding is for a 27.5 wheeled bike, has 170 millimeters of travel. It's a boost front hub spacing. So how does this fork feel on the trail? Well, it feels smooth. It feels very good. So the chassis of the Z1 is excellent. It's based on the Fox 36 chassis, which is well known to be one of the best performers out there. The fork uses a single compression adjuster, top of the right leg, a single rebound adjuster, bottom of the right leg. The fork uses a thread in front axle and there are quick release options available. I've got this nifty Industry 9 match sticks through axle. It's a multi-tool. You can remove that top air cap and start sticking in bottom out reducers, especially if you like to huck to flat or you ride a lot of gnarly bike park stuff. I weigh 170 pounds. I'm a former professional level racer. I hit things pretty hard still in this day and age. I'm really happy with the fork. I have the compression adjuster turned in about one sixth of a turn and I'm running the Motion Instruments data acquisition system. This lets me know how fast and how often the fork is compressing. I did a little bit of data work and I learned that in this setup here, the fork is pretty set up pretty comparably to my 36 grip too. Now I should probably go to a tad softer air pressure, add a volume reducer. I haven't actually taken the time to deal with that yet because I'm pretty happy with the fork as it sits. So I only used 148 mils of travel. I could go a little bit softer. I could go lighter on compression. If I only hit 3,400, it's the fastest. So some of those then could go less damping. But my axle position histogram doesn't look bad. The stock fork here, I've got it set up. I'm completely happy with it on my local trails. The 36 Grip 2 has more adjustments on tap. So if you are an outlier, if you are a really heavy rider, but not very aggressive, or if you're really light, but very aggressive, then consider the Grip 2 damper because you separately can control high speed and low speed compression and rebound. 
you can really dial in the 36 grip to a little bit more, but that's only really necessary if you've got kind of a unique circumstance. This fork is available in both coil and air sprung variants. I'm running the air spring version, and to be honest, I have very little desire to try the coil sprung version. With coil springs, you need to get a whole new spring if you want to adjust your actual spring rate. Furthermore, a coil is perfectly linear, whereas air chambers can be made smaller and more progressive through these handy dandy little volume reducing tokens. I do adjust my air pressure on occasion and for the seasons. I'm gonna soften it up a little bit as it starts raining here more for the winter. I'm only a sixth of the way, one sixth of the way into this adjuster. And that's a pretty good sweet spot for me. I don't see myself needing a ton more damping than that. Now, if you're a little bit lighter, you could get away with running this fully open. So say you're 140, 150 pounds, you could totally ride this fork fully open. I think it would be fine. But if you are much lighter, I think the 36 Grip 2 in its fully open setting would be more open and more easy to move than the Z1 would be. However, don't let that be an end-all be-all decision-making factor. There's a ton of aftermarket companies, including Fox itself, that can revalve your damper for lighter weight range. You could, in theory, get this fork and then spend some extra money but get it revalved to be a more open feel. And if you're lighter, that would make a lot of sense. On the flip side, if you're heavier, you're probably gonna want more damping than what I'm using. So if you're well into the 200 pound range, you've got plenty of damping on tap to really firm this fork up. Maybe some heavier riders can comment below how aggressive they are on the bike, how heavy they are, and what they think of the Marzocchi Z1. Is it worth it to spring for the 36 Grip 2? Well. If you're one of those outliers, then yes, I think it would make sense. Keep this in mind. Ibis makes the Ritmo Carbon and the Ritmo AF, the aluminum version. I've got lots of time on both. And I notice on the Ritmo AF that the frame torsionally is not as stiff as the carbon version. I definitely noticed that. Now, most of the consumer reviews out there have not felt that difference whatsoever. So. I would say if you're happy with a bike like the Ritmo AF, which has got to be Ibis's best-selling model, it's phenomenal. It's a great bike. People love it. If you're happy with that level of performance, the Marzocchi Z1 should be plenty of fork for you. It should more than satisfy your needs. If you can feel that difference between the carbon and the aluminum, or if you just want the absolute best, then the 36 Grip 2 is indeed a better fork. If I was buying a fork with my hard-earned money, I would definitely get the Z1 and spend that 400 bucks on a ride vacation spending time with a coach, getting better. I might take that extra time off work and ride my local trails that much more. I'm more about riding rather than bike parts per se, so that's my two cents on the deal. If you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button below. My good friends over at Jensen USA who sponsored this video, they have these forks in stock. I've got a link to them down below. Anything you purchase from Jensen will help me out. Thanks in advance. It's been a joy and a pleasure. I appreciate all of you tuning in and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Peace. Can you say please subscribe? Can you say please subscribe?